said to Tyler, hey, for this jump line and for the lower kind of higher speed sections, let's switch. And he said, um, no. I was like, you don't want to switch? He goes, nope, I'm riding the XC. Okay, Tyler and I have been switching back and forth between this uh, Yeti ASR that I'm on right now and that Ibis XC that Tyler's on in front of me. And they're both my bikes, both size mediums. They're outfitted very similar. But just right away when we switch back to this one, we switch like three or four times now, you feel like the bike is just more racy, more focused on the ground, like charging forward. And it feels like it has a little bit more support in the pedals, a little, a little firmer uh, pedaling platform than the XC. And um, the XC obviously is a race bike and it feels like it, but the ASR feels more so like a race bike. Also, I would say the XC climbing just feels slightly more easygoing. Um, the steering is a little bit easier. You feel like you're sitting down in the bike just slightly more than the ASR. And the ASR, it's not obnoxious, like you're sitting way on top of the bike, like you're perched, like you're perched on top of it, but you definitely notice it when you switch between the two bikes, that the, uh, the ASR feels a little bit more chargy uphill, a little bit more racy you're kind of leaning more forward, it feels like, from that, the way the, the geometry is, where the, the XC has a slightly more easy go um, seated position, like you're sitting down inside the bike more. Anyway, we'll get to the downhill and see how that goes. All right, I'm switching on to the XC for this downhill. Uh, we'll follow you, Sam. Sound good? Can I show off a really good riding form? <laughs> yes. Sam up there is a, a local mountain biking coach. There you go, that's good for him, Sam. <laughs> All right, I'm on the XC. Tyler's on the SR. Um, Ghost Falls. And the XC just feels slightly more maneuverable than the ASR. I've been riding that ASR for more than two weeks, probably three weeks now. And Yeah, definitely this bike feels slightly, slightly more maneuverable. Well, ASR is still plenty maneuverable too. Yeah, ASR feels a little longer. I need to go home and look at the wheelbase. I don't know if it actually is or not. It's slacker. It's got not quite a degree slacker. A little more than a half a degree slacker head tube angle. Interesting. You want to switch back? You know what? What'd you notice? This one's more grounded. You feel this like it's more twitchy. I'm thinking in my mind like that bike has a steeper head tube angle, but in my mind I'm thinking that's a race bike made for people who want to have fun and ride. This is a race bike made for people who want to win a race. Yeah, it is for sure. That's totally what I feel. But I, yeah, I feel like this steering is actually fast. Oh, faster? I feel like it's faster and I feel like it's more twitchy. Where this one's like you're sitting in the bike, like straight line is better on it. Switch me. <laughs> but it'll be interesting to see like what the rougher downhill. Yeah, That's just for sure. Going down north loop or what? Uh, oh, north loop, yeah. Let's do north loop, yeah. Yeah, I feel slightly more comfortable on this bike for some reason. On the XC. I don't know. The thing I saw does feel slightly more dampened over here. I think they both feel freaking good. They do. I think I slightly prefer the way the XC rides. I just think it's more planted for sure. Like it's more comfortable to ride. This is a it is, it's a race bike for sure. Isn't that weird? People would think with the slacker head tube angle on the Yeti, extra 15 millimeters in the rear, it would be the more planted or stable bike. You do have light wheels and tires on this. I think that maybe has something to do with it that, a little bit, but like, I still bike, feel like you sit in this bike more. more. Yeah. This is a great trail right here for this bike test because it's got, well, like right now it's really flat, not downhill at all. So this is not a super steep trail. It's a more moderate trail. And there's lots of sections like right here, rocky, and it's uphill slightly. 
So you're kind of out of the saddle pedaling. And I rode this yesterday on the ASR. So Tyler's on the ASR right now and I'm on the XC. I feel less nervous on this bike, on the XC, than I do the ASR to that section, I would say. Weird, bikes are weird. This is on paper. On paper, this should be the one that feels more nervous, I would think. Steeper head tube angle. Um, less, less suspension. But you know, this bike, well, one other thing to consider is this bike has Fox suspension instead of rock shocks. Maybe that's playing into the experience more than I'm realizing. In fact, I'll bet it is. Also, this has Maxxis Recon front tire, uh, Recon race rear tire. And that other one's got those new Vittoria tires on, which I actually really liked. Whoa! <laughs> that, that section right there is a great test. Yeah. Because you come in 25 miles an hour or higher to that really chunky section on these short bikes. This one definitely looks like my specialized evo feels more like you're it's like you have to be a little you have to be cautious like you're light on the handlebars because you don't want to like push into things because you just like don't know like when it's gonna like cut out and like, yeah yeah that's it. The game over yeah it's don't funny feel like that on this bike but when we first rode this asr when it had the recon and recon race tires on there it felt a little more confident it felt like a it little did. yeah this feels very pingy like it just gets like knocked offline so you have to be cautious yeah dude let's go ride this section right here again real quick so you can ride on the xc yeah. Back to back. Up to do the same section. Because these are like more greenish blue trails, um, I wanted to just do this one kind of rocky section on the ASR and let Tyler run it on the XC a little bit. Because you come into this section right here kind of hot and it's rocky. Right here. I don't know, I feel like the ASR still handled it pretty well. It's hard when you have variables like tires and suspension. I, I, I think the biggest factor is probably the fact that that XC has Fox suspension. Maybe that's what's making it feel slightly less nervous. I have no clue. But the bike definitely feels more, slightly more stable. And also, I guess, I guess the reality is, one of the true things is, that we don't have the question, is that that frame, you feel like you're sitting down more in the frame a little bit more. But the ASR maintains like a more racy type position, which I don't mind. I'm enjoying riding this bike. And then the tires. So yeah, they have different suspension, different tires and wheels. So that changes it a little bit. Here's another one of those little slightly uphill chargey sections where you can get out of the saddle and pedal. So Tyler, what did you think about that rocky section real quick? Yeah, you, you're sitting lower in the bike, I feel like, on this one. On the XC. On the XC, and then, yeah, straight line. You're not getting pinged all over the place, and I feel like at all. Where that one, I feel like I'm getting pinged a little bit, but again, that could be tires and wheels. I've been um, pointing out the differences in suspension. Suspension, it, it's weird because like you can feel that it's slightly more in the rear, but this still handles it better. Isn't that weird? But again, I mean, that could be a tire thing. I still think this like, I still like the way I sit in this bike though, versus that bike. Yeah, I, I do too. I like the geometry of that bike better. It's so interesting because on paper, you would think we'd like this one better. 66 and a half degree head tube angle. Yeah. Extra, extra 15 mil in the rear. Just um, like not knowing the numbers because I haven't looked at them. This bike feels shorter, like it's more like, I feel like the handling is more twitchy. A little more nervous. Yeah, it's more nervous, but it's more like you can flick it around as well, like more yeah. easily than this bike. Like this bike, it's just, it's planted. Like I don't feel like I can, I can, I can move it around. Planted for I a cross country bike. I don't want yeah. the viewer to think we're saying it's as planted as like a no, Ripmo. No, it's not like yeah, yeah, planted yeah. plush. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just like you're, Comparing. you're holding a line though. Like it holds a line really well. It doesn't get bucked off at all. Totally. But as far as like just moving the tire out of the way, like it takes way more effort on this versus that one. Yeah. Do you think we need to speed up the rear on that bike? One click or no? Or did it feel slow to you or no? 
maybe if you didn't notice i i i just thought a little bit i was just going to give it one extra click where's the clickers on it right there oh. let's yeah. just that will just i feel like it's getting left behind a little bit from the fork just try that and if it feels too fast we can put it back all right let's head down to limelight thanks tyler this are still feels i mean it, it's still a lot of fun for these types of trails your trail network is a lot of blue and especially flowy trails um i think that either one of these bikes would be really great i just said to tyler hey for this jump line and for the lower kind of higher speed sections let's switch and he said um no i was like you don't want to switch he goes nope i'm riding the xc so there you go but he also said so just so you guys know tyler personally owns a specialized epic evo the previous generation and he does that so they can keep up with his high school kids he has two kids in high school that he has to keep up with in the high school nika program so that's why he has the specialized epic evo then he also has a cannondale scalpel se same bike that sam's riding up there sam is a local mountain bike coach one of the best riders in the area and he's on a cannondale scalpel se today also so both those guys said they'd pick oh tyler <laughs> oh tyler uh anyway so maybe that's all you need to know right there is that tyler picked the xc over the asr but if you were racing someone which one would you pick the ASR. <laughs> the ASR, there you go. Or if I was trying to keep up with high school kids. If you can't hear him, he says, or if he was trying to keep up with high school kids, he'd take the ASR. There you go. There's no perfect bike out there, I guess is the, the takeaway. But on all these jump lines, he said, you can ride the ASR, Jason. I'm taking the fun bike. Which is funny to think that the XC is the fun bike because it has the steeper head tube angle but that's what's so interesting isn't it the scalpel se is also a really fun bike i also own a scalpel se just because they're such good values salt cycles has them on sale right now for such a good deal it's crazy nice all right switch me you want to hit the big jump on the ASR? Yeah. All right. Tyler wants to hit the big jumps on the ASR, I guess. The X is way easier to manual too than the ASR. Oh yeah, I like this bike. Sam's cleaning up the trail. Okay, go, I want to hit this jump, Sam. Sam's too busy cleaning up the trail. this is such a good bike i freaking love this bike i also have a geez i have probably put over easily over 1500 miles on the xc over the last two or three seasons however long that bike's been out because that was my personal short travel bike like two seasons ago fun sick Dude, so fun. All right, final thoughts. Without being too redundant, because we've already said a lot, I know. But what do you think? I mean, so I should just point out, I talked a little about Sam's 
Candell, Scalpel SE, and Tyler basically said he would take that bike if he had to choose between the three. Is that my... Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, it's like, it has like the benefit of both of these bikes. It has like the easy handling, like the twitch, like more twitchy handling, which I kind of like. Yeah. But it's more, it's more stable like this one. Like it fits between both and it puts you like right in the middle of the bike as well. So yeah. This bike, like if you could, which you can, you could easily switch out the tires on this bike. And it's fantastic. Like I think the tires are just making it a little bit like pingy and yeah. hitting those rocks like pushes you offline where this one does not. But I think if you put that same tire combination on this, because I rode it before and it wasn't that way. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like this is a a better well-rounded bike that you could do multiple things with. Where I feel like this bike is pretty set. Like I don't feel like you do a whole lot to it. And you rode that bike a couple weeks ago with the Recon and Recon Race tires. Yeah. When we had aluminum wheels on it. Yeah, and it was not, like it didn't get bucked offline. Wasn't as pingy. No. So it's, I think it's easier to make an upgrade to this bike, like if you wanted a race bike or more of just a trail, easy going cross country bike. Yep. Still though, I'd take the Cannondale all the You take the Cannondale? Sam, what do you think about the Cannondale? The money? You're saying it comes down to money. Well, those are absolutely sick bikes. And what Tyler's saying makes so much more sense. That Yeti is unreal nice. Is it worth that extra cost nice? That's up to the individual rider. Yeah. And their budget. Candel's a good, that Scalpel SC is on sale right now at Salt Cycles. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. Crazy good price. All right, fun ride with you guys. Thank you. Yeah.